Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are going to be trying out the Mole God in Explore, Pioneer Light, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so Anzrag, the Quake Mole, has been showing up in a couple of these Gruel at one point vehicles, slowly losing vehicles, kind of mid-rangey shells. Uh, so this is a 4 mana 8-4 whenever it becomes blocked. Untap each creature you control after this phase. There is an additional combat phase for 6, 7, 7 mana. You can force an opponent to block it. Uh, and we're going to throw an Ember Cleave on it. Just casual 18 damage with double strike in there. We still have the Chariots. We got newly uh, dubbed Smuggler's Copter into the format. Uh, and we're, we're still playing our Accelerants, Elvish Mystic, Line of War Elves. We got a couple Inti in here, plays really nicely with the Copter to get us some value. Still have like Bone Crusher, Reckless Storm Seeker, a couple copies of Voldaren Thrill Seeker that we can throw things at our opponent, throw a, uh, throw a mole, uh, some Love Strucks, and then just two copies of the Huntsman's Redemption. We have five creature lands between three Muta Vaults, a Lair of the Hydra, and a Den of the Bugbear. I have this deck in paper. Uh, the <laughs> I'm basically playing this now to see if this is good because they're like 23 bucks Canadian and I don't want to spend $23 on this if it's like fringe. I just bought a Besaju and it can't believe how expensive Besajus are. Um, but our sideboard, trying out a couple different things here, caught my eye. So we got the end of festivities in here for the Convoke matchups. We have the full set of Rampaging Ferocidons, or three of them actually for like Amalia combo, uh, Catavan, anything with life gain. We have Unlicensed Hearse for Phoenix, any sort of graveyard shenanigans. The card that I want to try out, we just finished recording a standard video where this card just completely dunked on uh, blue white control. So I want to try it out. Um, it's either going to be this or shift to a Planeswalker package. I'm tired of losing to like Supreme Verdict, Farewell, any sort of like incidental we're seeing probably more temporary lockdowns with convoke decks so i think to kind of keep an eye out we have the tranquil fill backs as life gain graveyard hate or artifact enchantment hate and then a couple witch stalker frenzies because i don't want to lose to shieldred uh, so we're gonna give this a shot see how it plays out um another card that could be considered here is the new red case uh, i've been impressed with that card thus far um, so we're going to give this one a shot, and then there's a Rakdos uh, Hazard kind of discard inti theme deck that we are also going to give a shot in a separate video. So um, really, I just want to see how this one plays out, uh, how it aligns with the format. We are going to be getting an Explore metagame challenge in the coming weeks in March. So playing around with some ideas to see what I like, what I don't. The, the one deck I know for sure I will be doing at least one run in with is the is it gear hulk creativity deck with the deuce being added i think that card's really sweet and it really kind of plays to what i like with the deck with it where it can be a reasonable game against the creature decks and be aggressive with just having removal counter stuff like that but can also pivot and beat the control deck because you can play a lot at instant speed and get around some of their stuff but we'll give it a go Another card that I may want to try out in here is Sentinel of the Lost City, the Merfolk with Vigilance, uh, since it plays into Wandering Emperor well. Uh, this hand is good. We have an Elf on one, so we will Elf on one. Don't kill my Elf. My hand's much better if you don't. Depending on what they're at on, I might just... Okay, so we got the other source here. They didn't kill yet, so could be the mirror. I think we just last turn. This is aggro gaba goose in this economy. Um, I don't think that's like worth killing. Gonna get chariot going. I really want to save the like the removal since we're very limited with it for a lord effect. We hit another land. I can double spell. 
if not really just want to take off the Lord, potentially kind of mess up their combat. This is just like a Tarka red, Devotion. Could be Devotion, actually. I mean, I'm taking an 8-ball. Then we have Hazard here. I think we do it like this. Hazard notably can't block right now. And then what I'm hoping is they try to do a double block with the burning trees. Yeah, so they're just going to take it. I think we're fine like that because I have the five mana, so I do have the line where I can throw the chariot at them. Eidolon's fine. I mean, I could kill the Eidolon here. I want to get them down to like low enough life where they just kind of die. <laughs> um, let's make this red. We'll take two. So I can crew. Give this haste. So we're pretty wide here. Hazard needs one or fewer cards in hand. So really here I'm just trying to catch them in a poor double block. So I actually think the view battlefield that's six coming in. I think we just let that go through. I want to keep the Eidolon on the battlefield because it could hurt them in terms of damage. Because then next turn, I also have the Baron Thrill Seeker. Might have been right to go Seeker here. Made the Chariot bigger and then thrown it at our opponent. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Is that seven, eight damage coming in? I could kill that. Saves me a bit of damage. Probably the line. So we take two here. Saves me a bit of damage.
So enters the battlefield. I could crew here. Okay, so just thinking about this. So one, two, three, four, that's three blockers. They have to block here, they take two damage, and I throw it at the opponent. So just doing my counts, making sure. Um, so in this matchup, we probably just want the Frenzies, to be honest. Maybe the Frillbacks. I think that's largely what we want. Huntmaster. Frillseeker is probably too slow, like we saw that game. So one thing to note, just with this configuration, we don't have things like Obliterating Bolt. We don't have any other cheap removal. Um, so that's one kind of just consideration as these games are going through. Chariot was fine there. I do think I probably want to cut down maybe one copy. And I think the last cut is probably Huntsman. I mean, three threes. It's either a Huntsman or a Copter. Probably a Huntsman. Like Bone Crusher is going to be pretty big. Actually, the thing I should have, they probably are playing Chain Whirler, so I probably should have cut down on Elves. We'll see how the games go. I do think after this game, I want one more piece of cheaper removal, whether it be Torch the Tower or Magma Spray. Probably Torch the Tower. I mean, no reason here. So they'll attack, we have Witch Stalker Frenzy. Nykthos. Opponent's gone big. Wily. All right. So we'll take two here. A couple of lines we can go here. I can, I'm probably gonna save this for the following turn, given the last card's Hazard, it's kind of annoying. So we're probably just gonna go Chariot here. Next turn, I have this kicked where I can gain four life and blow up their ley line. Always fond of uh, ley lines. It is always ambitious when you're playing Nykthos in a deck where every pip is there without like the Land War Elves to fix things. So six mana going in. We got Mogus coming down. Casual seven ball. So we are going to take two, but we'll gain four off it. Okay, the last card is there, Mountain. So I think here we block as such.
And here we just do frill back, auto pay, auto pay. We're going to gain the life and we're going to destroy an enchantment. Unfortunately, it's a little awkward for us to attack this turn. Next turn, I'm much happier. We also have Ember Cleave for next turn, as well as this Frenzy. I don't think they'd be on Cleave. You never know. Okay, so we see Eidolon here. Um... Don't love taking two there, but I think it's right. It's two, three, four that I would take. Um, so my lines here are Inti and that, which I think we're doing that. Could also hold up the Frenzy, just play the Inti this turn. That gives me two things to crew. I have the Chariot. Chariot taking out Mogus isn't the worst. So I think this turn it's actually just discard love struck. So they have to double block if they want to kill it here. If not, I just get a nice sizable chunk of damage in. Next turn I have everything ready to go. So yeah, I think the only thing I would probably want is one more piece of removal that's just cheap here. But this game, it's over. So I think here we attack. If we attack with two, that makes my Ember Cleave four, so I attack with three. So we're going to make a copy here. We're going to discard the Elf. And then we're going to let them go to blocks. I will Ember Cleave as appropriate. So here I have 14, 16. Cleveland! Always nice to cleave. All right, no mole god, but uh, just good old inti action. Chariot continues to win games. Lots of goodies. Questing Druid number like eight. Uh, like I said, I do think I want one more piece of cheap interaction. Like festivities are fine. Frenzies fine. Mm. I think we go with Torch. I like the instant speed element of it. Plays pretty well. I think we'll do that. Torch, if we have like incidental tokens or stuff, can also be reasonable. It's more just having like action for as we play the games. Like that game, if at times we wanted like another cheap piece of removal. Could be right that we want three damage. It's kind of a shortfall right now, or obliterating bolt. So we'll play first. I think we have to mulligan this hand. I'll keep this one because we have double elf. Don't love it, but 
This is 24 lands, so. Never didn't have it. Um, I think we're just going to do this. So could have no more lies out of them. Do you want to try to find a land here? God. They have temporary lockdown. I just get wrecked here. Okay, they don't. I mean, I gotta throw out a chariot here. I have two. Okay, it resolves. I mean, I'm still in a pretty terrible spot, all things considered. I do need another land. If I have a land, at least I can crew the chariot. Okay. Verdict. Why do you hate me, game? 13 cards, 2 lands. You're just not going to really win games like that. I think we're doing this just because if they have Wandering Emperor, at least they have a wide board. March, March. We miss lines too many games, uh, like turns. We get to try the Forge package out, see how that plays out. Then having double removal turn isn't going to do much for us. Fifteen cards, three lions. Show me an emperor. There is like a sequence there where we could, oh, well, well, thank you for letting me be able to see my deck. Um, so I'm just going to bring in the forges. I don't think they're too graveyard focused. Coming out, it's going to be a three. Probably Thrill Seeker. It's individually like one of the worst cards. I also don't love like like uh, Love Struck Beast in this type of matchup. Thrill back's a little too slow. I could play Ferocidon. I could play Torch the Tower. I don't love Cleave in these matchups. This will let me play around, like, outside of temporary lockdown. I think we do it like that. Actually, Ferocidon doesn't seem great with the Forge. I'll just play a Frillback. Two Frillbacks. Blue-white always feels awful with this deck. So I, I want to see how Forge plays out. If Forge is bad, then I go Planeswalkers. I 
think we try this. I have copter. Could be get lost. All right. I might basically kept this hand because we have a bunch of creature lines which are useful in this matchup. Uh, we will decline here. I'm doing this. Okay, so they'll kill that. I just want out a threat here. It's not great. They have an emperor, I kind of get blown out, but nah, they got the field. They got the field. We'll just kill this. I'm like so tired of playing around that sequence. The Regal Karkal. Okay, so I just lose now. Last game we drew like no lands, this game we drew all lands. So they're trying to race me. That might mean they have, well, if they had a second Caracol, they'd probably play it. Might be Wandering Emperor. So they field that. So they take that. Play around no more lies here. We can't play around his veto, so they kept in veto against us. I think we trade with one of the life linkers. At this point, I've just drawn so many lines, I can't really do much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
think we just do this. What wins, flood or? Uh, well, the luge is going to beat us now. They just get like verdict or any piece of targeted removal, field of ruin. So this suggests to me that they have a Wandering Emperor because they can give the first strike. We have changed the equation, come down. Top deck war for me, but they're just gonna keep deluging till morale improves. This one's tricky. I think we still maybe want like the Planeswalker package. Just gonna play out Inti here. Last turn. They have Restless Anchorage there, of note. Um, put it on the land here. Okay, that's not bad. Dark for six. So we'll blow up the line here. Got like one turn, so that's what? One, two, three, four, five. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight. Some short, some damage. Really don't have an answer to. Can discard. What are my outs? Tranquil Frill back only gains me four. I guess it's try to find Copter. As to be able to block. They gain the life. Discard. Doesn't matter. I mean, one game, you can't really play around that, in all honesty. When you have one game where you're drawn nothing in terms of lands, and then the next game you draw 11 lands, you're going to get variance a bit. Um, I don't think Forge... Because like at, at that point, we're too far behind. Oh, that's some great arena. Great arena visualization. So let me just exit this client. 
So if we think about that, like the hedge to the matchup, they're going to have a lot of counters. If I could sneak Chandra down, then they can only rely on get lost. We could go something like Vortex, but Vortex gets swept up by temporary lockdown as well as March, as well as Thing. Case gets hit by March and, and Thing. So the, the reason that like Forge is reasonable is because I think we try to Chandra's. Forge being an artifact can only, like it could be hit by March, Chandra gets around like all that and is some card advantage. Could try Hazard, but the problem is like all the removal is like exile based, which I don't love. And yeah, I think we're just. I really think like that game, like game one, we had a chance. If we hit another land, we mauled twice and in both hands saw one land, so. The matchup's bad and we drew bad, so. The fact that second game lasted as long as it did was kind of surprising. When it goes first. And seems fine. We'd love to draw an elf on one. So this will actually be an interesting line, what we want to do on turn two. Angels. Of course. Um, I mean, this game's got to be Anzrag, Embercleave, like that's got to be our win condition. If they didn't play double elf, I would have stomped that turn. Who plays angels in best of three when blue light controls like the most played deck? Um, I think we do this. I'm gonna stomp Skyclave Apparition here. This gives me another body. I don't want to take the damage this turn from this line, just in case. I maybe should have, like, checked them on the attack. Miss, miss, miss. No! Ah, that was my, that was my out. That was my out. So I have Inti. So I need six mana next turn. Part of me was saying like hit an elf. Three lands, just keep all the Cocos in the world. Jesus. <sighs> I mean, we maybe get it with like Anzareg there. We have enough damage. Okay, so Chandra's coming in, Stalker's coming in, uh, Ferocidon's coming in. Coming out. Lovestruck Beast doesn't do anything. 
I think we trim on the number of chariots. I think we trim on of. I think we trim on uh, one storm seeker, one Voldaren here. I do kind of want huntsmen just to be able to tutor for rampaging for Asadon. I mean, even if they just hit like another bishop or something there, I have Anizarg. Which would be nice. Comes in, smacks him for a bunch. Because we would have got a second combat step too. And then I just win. Um, we don't have second red. A copter can probably help us get there. It might be right just to aggressively mull to the anti-life gainer. Valkyrie here. And Rex. So here... I think we crew. Get rid of Beseju. This is actually an interesting line. I th still think we go Mole here. They could have Skyclave Apparition, but I think having Chandra is more impactful. Yeah, this works really nice. Could you not auto pay me terribly? That would be awesome. Just don't make me lose to my own. And I think I want to keep it back. because now I can block here if needed. Cool, got him. Um, probably more of the same. Just a big eight spot. It's a bit slow. Hope we draw one or two drop. Frenzy's not bad. Would have loved an elf there. Name Spirit. An interesting one. No plays for the first few turns. Really bad. All right. Probably lost this. I have Skyclave here, can't do much about it. We also kept three and just didn't draw.
can take out Chandra would have been nice there. Thank you. I would love the red source. So this means they attack in, they could pay the mana. It's a bit of an odd decision to play that first. But they just, <laughs> yeah, no punish. The so Angels is not a deck you're going to run into a lot. Like having played the format in best of one, maybe best of three. I just don't think it's something you really need to kind of hedge for. But elements of the deck I like. The control matchup continues to be a bit problematic. I think the way this is configured, we no longer want the love struck. I would probably just I would probably get rid of love struck main board like Chandra's just for some more grind and then play more removal on the side because like we're losing these creature mirrors. We need things to be doing on two. Like the hands where we don't have elf on one is really problematic. Um, so I would play like a Braids or Obliterating Bolt, something like that, I think. Love Struck is always kind of like the worst one out. Still think the Thrill Seeker lines could be reasonable, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. We'll catch you next time.